Hi, welcome to C tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll, we will discuss about pre-processing in C language. So pre-processing is one of the steps which happens during the compilation of C code by C compiler. So basically it handles all the preprocessor directives. So what are preprocessor directives? So they begin with hash symbol which are located within the code, within the C code. So if you are writing some C code then preprocessor directive, directives will always be there. So for example, uh, when you include any header file, so you, you follow the syntax like hash include then header file name. So here we uh, typically type hdio.h which is most basic header file. Then we also define constant by typing hash define followed by constant name which we want and the value which we want to replace. So for example we have any value then we type that. So as we can see hash is over here and we can see hash over here. So this, this means that these are preprocessor directives. So preprocessing is, is the first step which happens when you are compiling any C code. So for example, it checks the header file in C code and copies content of header file in your C code. So what does it mean? And we will be discussing about it in a few minutes. So also, you don't need to rewrite the header files because header files are typically hundreds or 500 lines of code and you don't want to repeat that kind of task again and again which includes lots of functions. So we will see how it looks like. Also after preprocessing step, the length of your code increases. So you can guess, guess why is it so. So what is the typical process of pre-processing? So you have a source code which, we, which you typed, then any C source code, program, source code will have multiple header files which you want to get included or you want to use some functions which are dependent on, on any header file. So like hdio.h is one of the header file and it contains 500 or 1000 lines of code. So since we don't want to repeat or type that again, we are just including it by typing hash include and then the header file name. Also if our source code requires other header files then we need to include that as well. So after pre-processing step, the, the length of the source code will be the source code you originally typed, then the length of the header files you imported or you included. So eventually the size of the code will increase. So after preprocessing step, the length of your C code increases. So the answer is, or the reason is, because it copies code from header files, thus increasing the lines of code and eventually making the size of the file larger. Now we will see how it looks like. So typically uh, when you're using any uh, Unix based system or Linux based system, the header files are located in any of the folders, uh, root folders. So here we have slash usr uh, slash include slash hdio.h. So there can be multiple header files over there in that location. And we are concerned about uh, one of the basic one, which is hdio.h. So let's see what are the contents of hdio.h header file. So as we open this file, we can see lots of data over here. And if you will go to next page, we can see here are some variables defined. And also there are various kinds of header files which are included. So these are pre-processing directives, we can see. So eventually, even this header file is, is calling lots of other header files. So this is a recursive process and perhaps th these header files will be importing other header files. So compa computer is very fast. You don't really realize how many header files it is importing in real time, but it does suddenly th that sort of thing. 
so we can see lots of comments are over here then we can see long very long comment going to next page here are lots of uh, constants which are defined and these are related to memory then there are many variables which are defined then we can see lots of other constants which are defined then lots of data and lots of loops then lots of functions as well so these are conditional things so if if something happens then do this or else do this so we can see lots of data is there and this is the end of this header file so certainly this contains lots of data so now we can see that if we would have been typing this header file over then it would have taken hours and we wouldn't have coded our work because it, it would have taken a few minutes but the header files itself takes hundreds or thousands man hours so this is what programmers c developers have left for us and we are not reinventing the wheel because they they did it once so we are coding which we really have to work upon so now th that was about header files now we are concerned about compilation process so after you have written the code which you will type in c language uh, in this file so let's say we have a file called c program 11.c so let's see what are the contents of it so we'll just type nano and then we will type c program dot c so now we can see we have about 10 or 11 lines of code which says include one header file then define one constant then there is this main function which in which we are declaring a variable then an array then it will print out something then it will take some input from the user then there is a loop which will run till the condition is met or the CTR's value is less than 5 and then it will halt so let's see uh, after the pre-processing of this code what kind of output we will see so we'll just use cc followed by hyphen capital e and then the code and then the uh, code file and then press enter so what it will do is it will take all the data from the header file and it will include that within our code so let's see how it looks like so we are just scrolling a bit to see where we actually wrote or typed the data the program to run actually so yeah here we are this is the command which we uh, typed which says cc hyphen e then the code name uh, the source code file so what it did was it copied the contents of the header file and then it shows the actual content so these are the files uh, files content header files content so we can see c program 11.c then some references then some locations then sub then some declarations so these all are content of the header file and various other locations and this is the actual code which we typed so the line before the line which we typed before this was hash include hdio.h which which is replaced by hundreds of lines which we saw moments ago and then we have this code so so this is what happens when you pre-process the code it actually imports all the data from it from the header file now we will just compile the code file so we will just type cc and then 
uh, C program, the file. So now the compilation is taking place and we can now see the output of it which is accessed by just typing dot slash and then a dot out. So it is asking the name, this type being skilled and, and the logic is complete. So it executed quite nicely without any errors. And if you want to see how the binary file looks like, so just type vi or nano, these two are editors, very powerful editors, just and then it out. And you can see random characters, you can't really make sense out of it. So this is how it looks like. This is the actual compiled code. I hope this tutorial will help you would have helped you in understanding pre-processing step in depth. If there are any queries, please post a comment or send a mail to beingskilled at redbeingskilled.com. Please subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Thank you for watching the video.